the budget that you recently authored as chair of the House Budget Committee would have cut spending on Medicare by $449 billion over the next decade. Is that right? I don't have the numbers right in front of me, I, but what I we're have trying. The numbers. What? Well, then I assume you're correct. All what, right. What so you said you'd cut it by 400 Medicare, cut Medicare by 449 billion dollars. Your FY17 budget proposal also would have cut Medicaid funding that goes to the state governments by more than one trillion dollars. Is that correct? You know, I think, Senator, the, the, the metrics that we use for the success of these programs is asking, not necessarily yes whether the no. amount of money into to it cut is, is, is what we are dollars for Medicaid? What we believe is appropriate is to... Do you want me to, to read you the number out of this? No, I'm sure you're correct. What we believe is appropriate is to make certain that the individuals receiving the care are actually receiving I, I care. I understand why you think you're right to cut it. I'm just asking the question. Did you propose to cut more than a trillion dollars out of Medicaid over the next 10 years? You, you have the numbers before you. Is that a yes? You have the numbers before you. I'll take it as a yes. So as I'm sure you're aware, during his campaign for president, President-elect Trump was very clear about his views on Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, as Senator Sanders has quoted extensively, President-elect Trump said, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid. Now, when President-elect Trump said, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid, do you believe he was telling the truth? I believe so, yes. Yeah. You Okay. Can you guarantee to this committee that you will safeguard President-elect Trump's promise? And while you are HHS secretary, you will not use your administrative authority to carry out a single dollar of cuts to Medicare or Medicaid eligibility or benefits. What, what the question presumes is that, that money is the metric. In my belief, yes, I am from a scientific money. standpoint, if patients aren't receiving care, even though we're providing the resources, then it doesn't Please, work for patients. I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're very limited on time. The metric is money. Can you assure this committee that you will not cut one dollar from either Medicare or Medicaid should you be confirmed to this position? Senator, I believe that the metric ought to be the care that the patients so are I'd receiving. So i take that as a no? I, uh, it, it's, 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 it's that that's the wrong metric. Well, we ought to be putting forth I, the resources. I'm not you whether or not you think you have a better metric. I'm asking you a question about dollars. Yes or no? What we ought to do is put forward the resources in order to take you know, care really of the patients. simple questions. And frankly, the millions of Americans who rely on Medicare and Medicaid today are not going to be very reassured by your notion that you have some metric other than the dollars that they need to provide these services. You know, you might want to print out President-elect Trump's statement, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid, and post that above your desk in your new office because Americans will be watching to see if you follow through on that promise.